I live stream on Twitch. Check out the channel. I live stream almost every day. I'm probably there right now. Hi, everybody. Uh, so what I have here for us today is a beginner-friendly guide towards min-maxing in Morrowind. Uh, the reason why you want to min-max is the highest level possible in this game is 78. And, there, and unless you min-max it, uh, you will not be able to get to that level. Uh, the things that prevent you from getting to level 78 are going to be what skills you have here in your major and minor. And so what we have here is your default character just got off the boat. Um, and what I hope is to uh, teach how to... Uh, or what, what factors come in deciding, like, what race you want to be and what skills you want to pick. So that way you can get all the way up to level 78. Um, a caveat to that is you do not really have to worry about that much. If you do everything right, by the time you're level 65, you won't have any skills to upgrade. You have a little bit of wiggle room, but nothing... Nothing too serious. Uh, it's all about just being able to get up to uh, level 78 and have the most health, magicka, and fatigue available to you. Again, Morrowind is really not that difficult of a game. For this tutorial, we're going to be going with a Nord, just because it'd be the easiest to explain. Like you see with the Dark Elf, you have... Uh, Athletics, which is governed by speed, uh, destruction, which is governed by willpower and agility, strength, marksman. They're very evened out or balanced class. Like so, it's a little hard to like do the explaining with it. With the Nord, strength, strength, endurance, endurance, strength, endurance, strength. You know, like pretty easy, right? These are all combat skills. So we've picked our race. We picked the Nord. With the class, this is your uh, default, whatever you come with. And so we're going to edit that. Things to note. Whatever you have in your specialization, you're going to get an additional five points uh, towards that skill. And so if you have whatever skills in your specialization that are in your major and minor, those are going to prevent you from being able to uh, level up as much as possible. So whatever you have for your racial bonuses, you do not want in here, but you do want to have as your specialization. Since Nords don't have anything really in the way of magic or stealth, we're going to be choosing magic and stealth stuff for our minor skills and our major. So one thing I like to do is... Uh, organize whatever I have in here by the governing attribute, right? So we're going to pick a willpower. We're going to pick alteration, which also uses willpower, mysticism, restoration. And now we're going to start picking our, you know, intelligence. Nords are not very intelligent. So things I want to warn you about, you absolutely do not want medium armor, acrobatics, or uh, athletics, wherever that one may be. Yes. You do not want those three in your major or minor skills. Athletics and acrobatics, it's basically impossible to play the game without accidentally leveling that up. It is impossible. Uh, and medium armor... The master trainer, the person who can level your skill up all the way up to 100, is not in the game. There is just not there. There are mods and code patches that puts the trainer in the game. Um, but if you have an unmodded uh, or you're just using OpenMW or whatever, the trainer's not there. And so the only way you're going to be able to level that up is just to get beat on for hours. Armor brace, and you're going to have to repair it. Super tedious, right? Do not want to have it on there. And now that we are on to the minor skills, I highly recommend you keep this varied. You know, if it's possible, you want to have 
as varied of a governing attribute <laughs> skill that you can in your miners. So we're going to have alchemy, which is going to be how we level up intelligence. Uh, alchemy is very important if you're uh, wanting to power level uh, because that is the best money maker in the game. You know, you just easy and we'll get into that too. Uh, we'll show you how all that kind of works, the places to go, the things to buy and how to do it. We'll get into that. So you definitely want alchemy and a minor skill. If your character does not have a bonus for it, if your character does have a bonus for it, what you want instead of alchemy is another intelligence based skill like, uh, Enchanting your security, right? Both of those are fine. But for our character, since he does not have a bonus to it, alchemy is going to go in the minor. Uh, what else? Agility, acrobatics, short blade. Short blade's really good for speed. The uh, master trainer is in like, one of the starter towns. What else? Again, it doesn't really even matter. Uh, personality, you're going to want something that will help you level up. As a matter of fact... Um, Speechcraft is just a little ways into the Mage's Guild. You'll be able to talk to the Master Trainer for that. Personality. Let's get an agility going. Just want to have one of each if it's possible. Again, do not have acrobatics. So we have agility, speed, marksman, mercantile. It's uh, a matter of fact. Oh, unarmored. As a matter of fact... One thing that's important to know, you want to have, we have an intelligence skill that is in your minor skill or, you know, within your major minors and then an intelligence skill that is not in it. So there's security, right? Leave security out. So that way you can level up intelligence without leveling up your total level. Um, that'll make sense in practice, but just know if you have an intelligence skill in your major or minor, Try to have one that's not in it. Uh, same with uh, you know, something that uses speed. Make sure you have a speed skill that is in your major and minor and one that is not. Your speech craft, you want to make sure you have a, a personality skill that's in your major and minor and one that is not in it. For your favorite attributes, these are going to get a bonus. And if you're min-maxing, you have the end goal in mind, and you just want to have the highest numbers available to you uh, just because you like that big numbers make you feel like a better person, right? You want to have endurance because that'll endurance affects how much health you gain per level. So the higher your endurance, the sooner, the better. And we are also going to go with intelligence. Doesn't really matter what all you have, but you know, intelligence is nice, but just you really, really do want to have endurance in here no we're gonna pick the lady uh you really can't go wrong with stones and i'm not gonna get into like what stones are good or bad but the lady specifically because you get the bonus to endurance and the highest level possible for endurance now is 125 so as soon as you get that as high as possible you're gonna have 125 endurance each time you level up so that's just the most amount of health. Uh, now, if you really wanted to min-max your endurance, you could pick a red guard or an orc. Uh, they have the highest starting. Uh, they have the highest starting endurance. So, you know, just make it that what you will. Doesn't really matter. What does matter though, if you look here, this is the lowest possible starting skill level that you can have for your major and the lowest possible you can have for your minor. If you see all 30s and all 15s, you know you have done it correctly. And that's that's really all that's important when it comes to um, picking your class, picking your race, picking your skills. Just make sure at the end of the day, you have 30s and 15s. Okay, so we are now officially in the game. We can save, we got our character, we can run around. The next step is kind of pretty boilerplate. It's just, you gotta get money. But what I recommend 
is uh, you need to get up to about 4,000 about 4, gold. We're going to hit up that axe, collect Tar Heel stuff, as well as pick up uh, some mushrooms. The mushrooms will be necessary for the mages guild, so we just need one of each. Not a big deal. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time here. There's Tar Heel up there. Let's see. Go ahead and uh, take all of his stuff. I'm gonna take the book, Luminous Rusala, the Violet Coprinus, Hyphophacia, and Bungler Bane. Right here. I only need one of each. Uh, we don't need the tax record, we just need to. Uh, well, let's just take all of it. Another thing that's important Hurry is up, you? you want to give Fargoth his ring. That'll give you better prices at the uh, at the merchant. Come back in here. Go through here. Cut through here. And you want to talk to uh, this guy in the robes. Succius. Tell him about the murder. Tell him you got the money. Goodbye. Oh, hello. Go over to this shack. Quit Kill this man. Well, confront him. Say so that's no excuse. Leave <laughs> real quick because you need to get back. Go in here with full stamina and then murder this man. Well, bring him justice. A bit much. Oh my god. Alright, kill this man. Collect the ring. Here's how you pick up a book without reading it. You open up your inventory, then you grab it, then you do that. The books are worth quite a bit most of the time. Go to the trade house now that it's getting late. Talk to this man. On your way. It's in the trade house, so you'll do it. Trade everything that you've picked up so far. Now go to the lighthouse. Tell this woman you found the ring. Make sure you're sneaky. Grab the book. Wait till 10 p.m. Once you see him do like these, this little creepy walk, you get down. This is a wondrous encounter. Welcome. It has to be the creepiest dude in the whole town. I have a feeling that you and I are about to become very close. You already put his stuff in it. You just take it all. Doesn't count as stealing. You won't notice. Now you're just going to make your way to Balmora. Why walk when you can run? That level up is the exact reason why you do not want athletics in here. Note, we still have uh, no points towards level increasing, but now we have a speed times two. Uh, you don't really have to worry about that. We're going to drop off the package for Caius just to get it out of our inventory. Yes, get your orders, give them the package, just blah, blah, blah. Exhaust his uh, speech. Doesn't really matter. Now what you're going to do, you're going to go through every storage in this town. Just take everything. Take it all. Just going to take it all. Take it all. Wealth beyond measure, Al. Your inventory is almost full. Make sure you go to the pawn shop over here and sell most of what you have. Uh, I, I would just sell the junk. One thing that I like doing is selling all the junk to the 
pawnbroker and don't barter or try to persuade you know just pay outright you don't want to accidentally level up your uh, speech craft your mercantile or uh, anything related to personality I like selling books to her so that way she'll always just keep them in stock and if i ever need a specific book uh, i can just always come back here for it you will get better deals over here in the guilds uh just because yeah, i guess they're pre predisposed to giving you good deals you look familiar go over here sell to him all the weapons and whatnot that you've uh, picked up along your travels. Join the guild, come over to Ajira here, and ask about the mushrooms. Ask about it again, give it to him, Water get your potions. You something. Also, while you're at the guilds, make sure you uh, pick up the supply chest. I like selling all my magical items to her. So that includes rings and scrolls. Once you've cleared out your inventory, a bit just uh go back to looting and selling about the next thing that we're going to be doing uh we're just going to teleport to all of the guilds and it's going to be really easy to load up on your inventory weight so one thing i like doing uh again you want to keep the potions but you can just put it in the chest here just grab everything just move it on over we will come back for it later so just go ahead and do that now we're going to go over to here or to this lady over here in the Mages Guild. We are currently in Balmora, and we're just gonna go down the list. We're gonna go to Aldrin. Just take all, leave. I'm right across from here is gonna be the Fighters Guild. Supply chest is right behind him. How do you do? I suppose this man I has a very you. funny quest. What is it? Uh, he's not just some kind of door greeter, so I highly recommend checking him out at some point. Now we're gonna go to Vivek. Supply chest is right here. Take yes, all. And then we're going to go down here do over want? to the fighter skill. It's right here. This might over encumber us. So. All right. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Okay. This is this. There is a smith. And this is a guy I was thinking of. Outlander. Barter. You can go back to the Majors Guild. You can go to Sadrith Mora. Hello, Outlander. I hope this please go ahead. Going to go down two flights of stairs to the Fighters Guild. Your supply chest will be right here. Now we're gonna go to Caldera. Greetings. Caldera is the most important one that you're gonna go to. Do you need something? Is there something you need? Uh, one, because there are valuable soul gems that you can just have. You can just have these. You can take this book. Again, remember, do not pick it up. Just open your inventory, then pick it up. I'm listening. Please go in here, go up the stairs. You do not need all of this, as it is, as they are all quite heavy. But you have master grade alchemical supplies here that you can make potions with the only one that you really need is the mortar and pestle it's all you need you don't need the other three well i take it back actually they're worth good money so pick it up for good money but you don't need them and now we're going to travel back to balmora we are now going to sell all the magic stuff that we picked up we're gonna sell all the weapons armor and whatever remains of the repair tools. Sell the books. Don't forget to sell the soul gems. And if you did what I did, don't forget to pick up all your potions. Just hit the take all and hope it doesn't make you over encumbered. So, 
right outside the pawn broker. If you did everything right, or if you just did everything, you're going to have about 5,000. And that is the perfect amount of seed capital uh, that you'll need to get your potion or, or your alchemy and your uh, leveling up underway. Uh, we're going to be leveling up exclusively through trainers. Leveling up through trainers that is not only faster, but it also helps us paint a more clear picture of what we're going to be doing with the levels. This is the alchemist. You'll see I went up those stairs, just came across the courtyard. We're going to be spending a lot of time here. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to sell all of our potions. Sell all of it, right? Uh, you don't necessarily have to sell the ingredients, but, you know. Well, actually, yeah. Don't sell the ingredients yet. I take that back. Hmm. And then maybe keep one of these potions. You know, just have that remaining... 3,000. So the, there are two things specifically that we are going to buy. We want to buy 10 scales and 9 muck. The reason why we want 9 is because we're going to sell it back to her. So we just want to work with like nice even numbers, right? So, so she'll have 10. So we have 10 scales, 9 muck, 30 gold, right? Offer. Boom. Uh, 10 scales... Nine muck. Oop. Looks like we already had some muck in our inventory, so let's, uh, hold on. Well, what we want to point out, she has 10 scales and 11 muck. So now we just sell that back to her. We're going to sell all 11, right? We're at a little bit of a loss. We're losing 18 gold doing this, but once we start making them into potions, we're going to be, like, in the money. You know, and we're already in the money. We got nothing to worry about now. So, offer. And, as a matter of fact, let's wait another 24 hours for her gold to come back. And let's just sell all those ingredients back to her. No point holding off that process. Just sell all of it. Sell it all. Uh, maybe even the Olympic, too. All right, so she now has, let's buy three muck. Well, I'll take that back. How much muck do I have? Yeah, let's not buy anything. All right, so she has 22 muck, 20 scales. So let's buy three of these, and five scales. So that way it's, uh, yeah, okay. You buy that, barter, sell it back to her, offer, go back to the barter. You don't even have to wait. You just go out of the barter menu. All right, there we go. Now she has 25. You'll notice whenever we buy 25 sell it back to her she has 25 once again she has 24 somehow <laughs> i messed up all right whatever offer i'm just not good with numbers y'all we're gonna buy one of these offer we're gonna sell it back to her offer now she has 50 and so we're gonna buy 50 going to sell 50. No, keep that. And now she has 100. And as a matter of fact, let us go ahead and buy. She sells the Grandmaster Mortar and Pestle. The way how it works, if you'll see, there's a quality of 1.5. And what we have, the Master Mortar and Pestle, has a quality of 1.2. Uh, this rounds... It rounds up and it rounds down. So the quality of 1.2 is just a quality of 1. The quality of uh, 1.5, which is the best you can make, is actually a quality of 2. So it doesn't matter 
like what this journeyman's mortar and pestle or there's an apprentice down here somewhere too yeah this is a 0.5 this has a quality of one this has a quality of one this also has a quality of one this has a quality of two so let's just go ahead uh the better quality the potion you make the more valuable it is so let's go ahead and just buy that, sell this. It'll cost us 2000 but we have plenty of seed capital offer. We're just going to go ahead and do that. And now, let's see. Let's buy 100 buy 100 offer. Go back to barter. Sell. Now she's going to have 200 Let's buy 50 as a matter of fact, 200 is perfect for what we're going to be doing. We don't need to have that much. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to buy 200. We're going to buy 200. And now, just do a quick save. As a matter of fact, let's do a hard save. Uh, let's see. Min, max, level one. Fresh. So, this is the beginning of our leveling adventure. <laughs> All right, now, things to notice. We have speed times two. That's because we've accidentally, well, I say accidentally, we've leveled up athletics just from running around. Ignore this. Ignore your speed times two. Pretend that's not there. What's important to know is that it says zero out of 10. Now, we're about to start leveling up alchemy with muck and fish scales. And so every time we level up alchemy up to 10 times, we're going to get a times five bonus to our intelligence. So let's go ahead and work this in the way. Do another quick save just to be safe. Oh, my cat's my cat's coughing on me. All right, there we go. And the way you do your alchemy, grab the mortar and pestle, put it over your body. And this will have the drain attribute. It does not matter what the... Uh, what the effect is or how many effects or the quality of the ingredients are. All that matters is that you make it with a grandmaster mortar and pestle. Uh, the prices are usually the same. Uh, more valuable ingredients does not make a more valuable potion. It just has a better effect, which also doesn't really matter, you know? Um, so here we go. We're going to set it up to 10 at a time. We're going to craft. Let's see, alchemy skill has increased to 16. What you'll see here is that we now have an intelligence times two. And as a matter of fact, if we just bring this down, let's, let's bring this down for better viewing. There we go. You'll see our intelligence is at 40. So if we keep doing this, right? Keep doing this. Nineteen, twenty. All right, I'm out of ingredients. Look, I've leveled up alchemy five times. We are currently five out of ten. Barter, let's buy more muck and scales. Offer. Twenty one, two, three, twenty three, twenty four. You're currently at 24. We've leveled up alchemy nine times, as we can see here. It was at 15. Now it's at 24. So we got to let. So we get to level it up one more time. Okay. So let's do that. We're now at 25. We can level up and. Times five is the highest multiplier that you'll be able to get to apply to a skill. So now we are done with alchemy for right now. We're going to go to a trainer 
who will then train us in a skill that gives us endurance. So since we're just starting off, let's find what we have the lowest in endurance. We have a 15, it's a 20. Spear, spear is also 15. So we're gonna do five level ups in spear, five level ups in heavy armor. So she does spear, so that's, uh, I lied. He does <laughs> he does heavy armor, so one two I've got a few minutes if you need some three four I clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> oh well. Not a big problem, honestly. But you know, if you uh did a little quick save, which would have been the smart thing to do, make sure you quick save beforehand, because you could misclick. You'll see that I have endurance available times five, but it's still just 10 out of 10. That's because miscellaneous skills do not go towards your level increases, uh, but you still get the benefit of being able to upgrade an attribute. So we're just gonna stick with him. We're just gonna keep up with uh, leveling spears or heavy armor, I apologize. Now we see we have intelligence times five and endurance times five. Ignore the strength and speed. And we're gonna go to a bed here. And you might get attacked at night. So make sure you do a little quick save just in case you die. So congratulations, we are now level two. What you'll see here is you have three selections three options you can uh what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put them in intelligence endurance and always put one in luck there is no other way you can get luck to level up faster so just always put one in luck uh it's the only way you're going to be able to do it so now we're back at zero we have no more progress to a next level. And what we can do is we're gonna, we can train more if that's what we want. May I or we can just you? go right back to the alchemist from the fighter skill. You're just gonna turn right, go up these stairs. Turn right at the courtyard and it'll be dead ahead. Can Greetings. buy what more ingredients. Do you require of me? 200 offer. And let's just keep making these potions. We're currently at 25 alchemy. We're going to go up to 35. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's buy more ingredients. 200 at a time. So that's 32, 33, 34, 35. And now that'll be a little bit more clear to see, we have intelligence times five. Go back. We're just going to keep training up our endurance as well. So intelligence is going to be high as well as our endurance. What is this regarding Nord? I suppose I have a moment. What is it?
Can I help you out? Do you need something? Don't forget to sell your potions back. I ran out of money. <laughs> Wealth beyond measure. Fight well. I have neglected to sell my potions back to the alchemist, and so now I have to do the walk of shame and get my get more money. Talk is free. What do you want? Everybody's just making fun of me for having no money. Barter. Get all your money back. Things to you, Nord. Do you have something to say, Nord? Everyone's so mean to me. Do you need something? Anything I can do for you? So 33, 34, 35. See, now we have the ability to level up. Uh, we've leveled up alchemy again, which is a minor skill, 10 times. That lets us level up our the uh, governing attribute five times. And then we've also leveled up a miscellaneous skill 10 times, and that allows us to level up our endurance. So once more, we go rest, and we'll be at level three. Make sure you quick save. You might get attacked. Intelligence is at 50, endurance is at 60, and luck is at 42. You always want to level up luck, each level. So that does it on how you're going to min-max. Uh, if you're min-maxing, you're really going to be leveling up exclusively through trainers, and so that's the method. You level up one skill that'll... Uh, actually progress you to the next level uh you want to make sure you do that 10 times and then you do a uh miscellaneous skill that won't lead towards that you want to focus on your endurance and that, that's really all there is to it uh i appreciate you watching the video if you have any other questions i'll be happy to answer them uh just put them in the comment section below hit the like i also stream just about every day uh, i'll leave a link to my uh, twitch channel here uh, and thank you i hope you check it out have a good rest of the day